Hey everybody, it's BC here, and I'm back with Season 3 of Planet Nomads. I apologize for Season 2 ending so abruptly. I kind of hit, hit a bit of a wall. I've got builder's block, and it's, it's kind of understandable. I had been working on some pretty technical projects. Uh, the last one was a really, really, really big project, and it was almost like I... You know, it was like I was trying to top it, but I couldn't. So I figured, you know, I, I just took a break and I figured time for a bit of a reboot. And it did work for season two, because season two I did a couple of really good things. Um, for this season, I'm actually going to start gathering some stuff while I talk. This season, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to try to, I won't worry too much about the big builds. I'm going to try to focus more on, like, the mechanical and functional side of the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like quality of life improvements and I even want to look at getting some sort of transportation going. Uh, that's something I've seen in the community so many times is that a lot of people have built like monorails and like off-site, not necessarily off-site transportation, but uh, transportation for long distances. Oh, well, that's cool. They change the color of the bar so it lets you know when your suit power is running low. I know I shouldn't be taking this, but... Uh, Yes, I am slightly thirsty. Oh, and it disappeared. Uh, and I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, like, I've had my own ideas of, like, possible, like, monorails and train systems and stuff like that. And something I'd like to look at doing this season. Uh, I do have another goal I'd like to do this season, and that's eventually save up enough materials to build my helicarrier. Wow, I must be dying pretty quick here. I gotta take care of my vitals. Well, gotta get used to using these keys. It's been a while since I've been in survival, right? So we'll go ahead and uh, use that. And we'll eat that. And we will get out of here. Uh, yeah, so that was one of the big things I want to do is uh, start working on uh, like getting the helicarrier built. I want to get some. Uh, excuse me a minute. Sorry about that, my mind just went blank there for a minute. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to, there's a, lots of, so many things I've done in this game, and there's a lot of things I'd still like to do in this game. Uh, oh, i got to be careful. Uh -huh. I'm not dying in the first episode, not this time. i got to watch out for these doubled up trees. i got to check my inventory, see what i got. Uh, as far as where we're going to be setting up, I haven't really thought about that too much. I just picked a random world here. Uh, if you want to choose the world that I'm on, I just put Planet Nomads 3 as a seed. And uh, the largest planet size, I just kept all the settings the same. I got hostile, hostile animals, hostile plants, and hostile trees, as you've seen. Uh, hopefully I have the space for this. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, what else we got? I wonder if I should take this drop pod apart. I'm not too sure. Let me get a few uh, resources together and then... Uh, I might have to take a nap here pretty quick. I had a couple of failed attempts at recording. So, yeah, I'll bring you back in the morning, I guess. We'll throw something together and we'll do a little bit of exploring. And here comes the sun. And here's an idea I just thought of. I, I have to unlock all the building materials. And they changed it too, so you have to go step by step. So I'm going to have to go through this, I think. Oops, that's not what I want. Let's go ahead and place this. We'll finish that up and see how long it's going to take me to get a vehicle going. We do have some resources. I gathered up some biomass. I do realize I was using the wrong mouse button to harvest trees. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've been in survival. Uh, so anyways, uh, so yeah, so that's what I got to do. So now I got to go ahead and build base foundation. Of course, I can always reclaim the materials. We're not going to be sticking around here. I'm going to go look for a decent place to go. And, yeah, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to unlock what I can to get a basic vehicle going. Then we'll, we'll hit the high road. All right, so we got everything unlocked. Didn't really take me too long. Uh, they did sort of change how things get unlocked. Now it's sort of basically your basic stuff up here. And then once you get there, you get to... The, the cockpit, once you build the cockpit, and you get the batteries, and the wheels, and the suspension, but all that comes after the jack, so it more or less unlocks it as you build it. Uh, I've got to the point where we get solar panels, so we're going to be going solar on this, with batteries, of course. Uh, I should have enough materials on me. I might have to get a few more things going, but 
I might go for like a sort of like a buggy idea. I'm gonna go ahead and use a jack, even though I never use the jack. Let's place that there. And then we're gonna go ahead and get some batteries up. Uh, might as well put these on the bar, why not? Get batteries, suspension. Oh, what do I need for those again? Oh, I hope I have enough composites. Uh, what else am I looking for here? Oh, yeah, wheels and uh, batteries. So we're going to go solar panels on the back. We're going to get a couple of, couple of blocks if we need it. Storage containers because I have inventory problems, and that's never a big surprise. And I'm going to go with the stand up cockpit. Why not? And we will go ahead and start building. So I'm going to go ahead and wonder how many batteries. Let's see if I can do eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, I'm going to turn the right order. Now the question is, what color is this thing going to be? Let's go with orange. Why not? So this is going to take me a little bit because I'm still using this Mark 1 tool. And I am out of electronic parts, so I'm gonna have to get some stuff made. Uh, I did do a little bit of mining over here. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more, as you can see. So let me gather up more silicone, and I'll be back when I got through enough parts to build this thing. Okay, I have everything ready to go. I had to build a 3D printer just to get the mechanical parts that I needed. Uh, what I gotta do is actually gotta get some inventory space here because I gotta take that thing out of the way because I put that in the wrong spot and yes uh, this is the problem with having the mark one suit is you don't have any inventory space whatsoever so I'm gonna stick all that in there for now take this out of the way get my parts back uh, I like the fact that you, when you build the batteries are actually fully charged so you don't you can just use them as an emergency power supply if you really need it so we're going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put, where is that thing? Seven. I'm going to try to put this right on top because I know this is two. And let's see if, hop, if this hover mode actually works. Yeah, it does too. You know, you can't move much or it wears out. All right, that'll be good. So I'm going to Sort of make it like a little bit of a buggy. I'm gonna have it like here and put a couple of containers on the front. Like so. I'm gonna put one here and one there. Now can I actually side attach? I can. Okay, good. Because that's where my suspension's gonna go. Put the suspension over here, we're gonna make the suspension on the wheels black. Like so. On the back side, I'll probably put a couple more containers. Get more of these going. I'll make these orange. And I gotta remember to hold shift as I move back and forth. So let's see. Go three. Because I'm gonna get two solar panels on the back here. So I'll go ahead and finish these up. These shouldn't take too long. I know I have batteries and I probably could be using them, but. I only need, want to use them if I really need them. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll get some more suspensions on the back here. Again, we'll go black. One there. And one here. We'll get a couple of buggy wheels on there. Oh, these look really nice. Uh, you're not going to go on there, are you? Of course you are. Alright, go on the other side. Do the same thing. There and there and uh, one more of course like so looks more like a truck than anything and solar panels solar panels are right here we will make these hmm that will make them orange like the rest of the buggy why not one there and one there all right now to fill it all in and hopefully I have enough parts to do all this one, there's two, there's that, uh, oh yeah, not for the wheels, yes, I know I'm getting hungry, I gotta get some water situated, I'll take care of that soon enough, 
And that's an autosave. Nothing new to me. And neither is me getting stuck on my own printer. Okay, and all we got left to do. Actually, that, those are going to be orange. Yes, and then we'll go back to the black for this and that. And over the other side. Alright, and now for the switchboards, which I didn't actually put on the bar, which is fine. Let's do that. We'll do uh, one and two. We'll have one as red. That'll be the main power. And one for green. And that'll be to turn the wheels off, just in case they do still use power. I just want to make sure that I have them isolated. Alright, so the main power, we're actually going to turn that one off. We're going to take this, we're going to connect this to... Uh, the batteries, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and then the solar panels, and then I'll start charging that battery, because I was using that for the printer, and surprisingly, uh, having the printer running on one battery would last about 40 minutes, which is surprising, which I think is about one day cycle in the game right now. And then this one, then I just connect it over to there, we'll get out of that. This one connects to the wheels. So in that way, all I have to do is just turn that switch off, and it turns, disables the wheel power. I'll turn that back on so you can see what I mean. See, now they have power, now they don't. Alright, now, let's see if I remember how to build a car properly. And I do. Oh yeah, I still gotta configure the wheels too. Let's get that build vision back up. Alright, uh, directional. Yes, we want that way, that way. And there, and then we want steering. And I always get confused which way this is. Is that supposed to be backward steering or up forward steering? I'll do it this way for now. Let's actually hop in and find out. Okay, that is definitely backwards. Alright, so that uh, is easy enough to fix. Could have done it in a terminal too, but I don't have the terminal. So. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's better. Yeah, let's tighten up that suspension a little bit. We are apparently in the new Unity 2. Uh, what was it? 2018 to 20. Like a fairly new build of 20, Unity 2018, so things should be good. Alright, now let's get some stuff out of my inventory here. Alright, grab this. That's all the stuff I gathered. Nothing else in there. Alright, I don't think I get anything from this, but we'll get rid of it anyways. And this, I don't know what's if it's even going to be worth it might take me a while to do this. Uh, get my vitals straightened out. We eat that. We'll drink that. Actually, I didn't even eat that. There we go. Alright, well, how long is it going to take? Too long. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Let's hit the high road and let's get into third person here. Yeah. Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn the power on. There we go. Now we're rolling. Alright, now I believe... Yes, and I, I had to actually go through the controls, because it's been a little while since I played it to get my controls right, but I didn't realize it was an actual handbrake. Alright, so that is... North is that way. I'm heading north, because... That's where we gotta start going anyways. Start getting some of our first materials. But let us go. Now I'm wondering if the weather's gonna affect me being in an open cockpit like this. That I have no idea. That's another thing I like to do too this season is actually start uh, checking out these monuments. Oh, she needs more power. She needs more power. Let me soften up that suspension a little bit too. 
fact, I might actually do that right now. Get out of third person. And we'll just bring that down to a medium level. That way, I tend to get better, better speed and traction when all four wheels are actually touching the ground. Not exactly in the desert here. Could use some articulation too. But let's see what we have around here. Here I am looking at the the map, trying to find north, and I forgot there was a compass right at the top there. Oh, hello. I think we're going to leave these guys be. I don't want to bother them. Let's just go ahead this way and... This doesn't look like a bad area. We've got lots of plants nearby. Get plenty of food. We do have some good dill neighbors we will have to worry about. But, you know, we can play with them later on. And... So far, so good. I don't see any brands. Uh, there's some poisonous plants, which is nothing new. Is that a new plant? Maybe. I have no idea. It's been a while since I've played. It's been a while since I've played survival, anyways. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I turned water reflections on, and uh, they could look a little bit better. Mind you. Keep in mind, this isn't actual water, this is just a film, but it's not too bad. This isn't actually a bad area. We might end up sitting up here. Oh, wait, hold on. Guido's, Brands, those guys. Let's, let's just drive on through, shall we? Don't mind me. Just passing through. Alright, we got more brands over here. Z Beatles. Oh, we got everything around here. Hmm. Might have gotten gone too far. Oh, this isn't too bad. Might be a nice little area. Uh, we are... Jeez, <laughs> there's good deals everywhere. In fact, I bet you anything if I dropped a miner right here, I'd be able to find what I'm looking for. Get some starter materials. Okay. I saw the plant in front of this thing here, and I thought he was a red one, but... no, oh, they're still green. Well, uh, it's getting a little dark. Let's see which way is north. North is still that way. Uh, what I'll do is I'll drive around for a little bit and uh, let you know if I find any good spots to camp out. I just stirred up the nest. Uh, I don't know if they're actually affecting me, but I, I drove near it and they all just started swarming around the nest. But they're not doing anything to me. Well, that answers my question about the this interior cockpit. Uh, I haven't been finding too much around. Uh, kind of getting the, the un impassable territory here, so... I don't know, we might have to set up here somewhere, maybe start looking at different type of transportation that can actually deal with these kind of hills. Uh, there was a distress beacon that came up too, I wanted to go check that out, but I kind of hit a wall with that. But there is a monument this way. I don't know if we can actually make it there or not. Sun's going down, so I'm going to run out of juice here at some point in time. Should put some lights on this thing. Because it's dark. Yeah. Eh, we ain't going this way. We're going to have to get airborne pretty soon. Uh, let me... Is it safe? I want to make sure I can get out. Because I want to... They're not even unlocked. Wow. That's probably going to be after this stuff here. I might have to look at 
getting air blades. Uh, I can't remember what they used, but I think. Actually, I think we need aluminum or something for them. Oh, it's funny, you hear the door close, but there is no door. There's no door, is there? No, there isn't. Everybody's sitting there with a couple of joysticks. Anyway, it looks like I'm going to have to wait up tonight, so I'll bring you back in the morning. After some thought and a game crash, or actually a complete computer freeze up, more like, more like it, I decided I might actually just set up here. This might seem like a good place to set up. We got lots of trees around. We have lots of plants to gather fruit and whatnot. We also have some cows. Where are they? Got some cows over there. We got some deer over there. We got some good dillos over there. We got fireflies. We got poisonous plants and all sorts of fun stuff. So we'll probably just sit up here for now and then start moving on to other places. I think that's actually food, is it not? Can't remember. No, it's not. Get rid of it just in case. Let's actually left click it, get the biomass out of it. In its prepackaged container. So we got some nuts out of that. That is nice. Now the question is what do I actually have for supplies on me? I have three frames and six plates. Well, let me grab my resources out. We'll stick that in there for now. And let's take care of that and that. And we're going to have to get ourselves situated. Oh, hello. You're awfully close. Hmm. Let's back the show up a little bit, shall we? Mm, getting a little too close there. You stay on your side of the lake, I'll stay on my side of the lake. Well, I should go hide behind the trees here. And then he won't see us. I think those guys would be okay as long as we don't get too close. And I got the cows over there. Let's actually go check over here, see what's roaming around. See, they might start coming this way too. You got those guys there. Not that I'm worried about them. I'll deal with them in due time. I just need better gear to deal with that. This actually might be a nice little spot here. I think this was fairly free. Except for the plant, which I can't seem to run over for some reason. Yeah. It's a shame. This actually is a nice little spot right here. I think we'll take it. I'll have to get rid of that thing, though. Let's actually do that right now. Uh, v. And let's see if I can... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some materials together. And I'm going to set up a little shack, get a stasis chamber, so I have a place to respawn in case this thing kills me. Alright, well, that's a little confusing. I was trying to get the stasis chamber, but the stasis chamber is actually behind the compact armory for some reason. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have enough to actually, enough mechanical parts to make the compact armory, so I tried to make a printer, and I didn't have enough iron to make that, so I had to borrow part of my my buggy just so I could make it. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and just going to put a basic foundation down here. Uh, let's see what color we're going to make this. Ooh. Uh, let's make it brown. Why not? A little brown dock here. It's not going to be much, anything special. It's just going to be a place to put a stasis chamber, so a place to sleep and respawn and all that stuff. And I have to check to see if I actually have the materials for this. Let's make this blue. All right, and this is just temporary, of course. I do have enough. Awesome. All right, and I'm going to rename this, of course. This is going to be. Home, sweet, home. Hang on, we gotta add something here for now. Okay, so there we go. So that is it, and we got ourselves a fair start. Let me actually skip the day here, or skip the night. Okay, that's all better. Yes, and I even gained a little bit of food and water. So, let's go take care of this thing. And make sure that I stay out of his way. You've been poisoned. Yes, I know I've been poisoned. Come on, come on. Ha, gotcha. 
and you only hit me once. But I'll survive. Uh, we got any others around? Uh, no, I'm not going after the Godillos yet. So I'll make sure that those guys are out of the way because they'll sneak up on you when you're not even when you least expect it. And yes, so we do have some food over there. We got some rocks. I'm gonna have to go gather up. I'll probably do that off camera. And we got some brands up there we gotta watch out for. But anyways, I'm gonna call this episode here. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough start. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been in survival, and yeah, unfortunately I lost the wheel of my buggy just so I could sleep. But hey, that's what we gotta do, right? But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.